Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon. And today we're making a giant Snickers bar with chewy caramel and peanuts at the top and peanut nougat at the base. It's over a foot long and weighs two kilos or 75 ounces, so it's definitely not something to eat on your own. To start with, you will need to line a suitable container. I'm using one that's 35 centimetres by 9 centimetres. And then put non-stick baking paper on the sides and the base, and then we can make the caramel. If you've bought roasted peanuts, then you can use them just as they are. If they are unroasted, then just place them on a tray in a moderate oven for about five minutes to roast them, then take them out and let them go cool. Place your sugar, milk, cream and glucose syrup into a large pan. Go to the website howtocookthat.net for a written recipe with all of the ingredient quantities that you need. There's a link in the description just below the video. Stir those together and keep stirring over a high heat until the sugar is dissolved. Add a candy thermometer and adjust your thermometer so it's not touching the bottom of the pan. You'll see the mixture bubbles up when it's boiling which is why we're using a large pan not a small one or it would boil over. Keep heating it, stirring it occasionally until it reaches 115 degrees centigrade or 240 Fahrenheit. Remove it from the heat and immediately stir in those roasted peanuts and then pour the hot caramel into your container and level it out as best as you can. Then we're going to place the whole container into a sink of cool water. And because we have such a large quantity of caramel, if you don't do this, it will continue to heat up and overcook and then your caramel will become solid and we don't want it to be solid. We want it to be gooey when you bite into it. We don't want the water to go into the caramel, we just want it on the sides of the container to help cool it down faster. It will still take a couple of hours to cool down. For the peanut nougat, measure out your ingredients and then put the sugar, water and glucose syrup into a pan. If you don't have glucose syrup, you can use corn syrup instead. Stir over a high heat until the sugar is dissolved. Lift up a spoonful to check and see that you can't see any more sugar crystals. Then using a wet pastry brush, wash down the sides of the pan. Add your candy thermometer and make sure it's not touching the base of the pan, just like we did before. And then while that's boiling, whip up your egg whites to soft peaks. Once your sugar syrup reaches 250 Fahrenheit, remove it from the heat and with your beaters running, pour in half of your sugar mixture, just a little at a time, into the whites. Add your salt, then return the remaining sugar syrup back to the pan and heat it up to 305 degrees Fahrenheit. Then with your beaters running, whip that into the egg mixture and you can see it just suddenly starts to get thicker. Once it's nice and thick but not yet cooled down, it'll still be quite warm to the touch, add the peanut butter and mix it on low speed until it's just combined. You don't want to keep whipping it in. Then spread it over the top of the cold caramel and squash it down to level it out and leave it to cool for a couple of hours. Use a knife to release the bar from each end of the container and then use your baking paper to lift it out. Fold the baking paper down and trim off the excess. I'm leaving the rest of it on the caramel so we can handle the bar without getting sticky fingers and getting finger marks all through the caramel. Spread out some chocolate quite thickly. I'm using a silpat because I want that pattern on the base of the bar, but you can use baking paper or foil here. Then flip your bar over and place it onto the chocolate nougat side down. Let that chocolate start to firm up and then trim off the excess. Now peel the baking paper off the caramel. Then smother the whole bar in chocolate and spread it out so it's smooth and even. Check the ingredients on your chocolate. If it contains cocoa butter, you will need to temper it or it won't set firm at room temperature. If it contains vegetable oil, then it's not real chocolate and it doesn't need tempering. There is a video explaining tempering on this channel. If you just click on how to cook that, you'll find it there under the chocolate playlist. In the comments, some of you have said that you're subscribed to How To Cook That, but you don't get emailed when a new video is up. You can change that in your settings. In YouTube, you click on subscriptions. Then up the top right on the top of the list of your subscriptions, a little words that say manage subscriptions. There, if you click on that, you can choose, do you want to be emailed if there's a new video? Do you just want it in your feed or do you want nothing at all? I upload a new video every Friday. So if you think you may have missed some of them, just click on How To Cook That to go through the channel and you can watch them there. On the top of your Snickers bar, you can add that pattern that they have just by gently touching it with a knife, lifting it and bringing it forward and repeat that the whole way across the bar. Remove any excess chocolate, set it aside to set and then you are ready to slice and share your giant Snickers bar. 
Thanks for clicking like and sharing. Add your request in the comments below and subscribe to How to Cook That for more cakes, chocolates and dessert. Have a great week and I'll see you on Friday. Some birds will fly away to rise and grow with their summer. Feels better than the blistering cold. I long for more than this today. It drives me so I live. I know my soul's vision can't be changed. Someday soon, travel to find me And this abyss ain't as dark as I feel So I'm gonna pack my things and go Travel the world before I'm old I'll send you photos in the post To capture the moments I love the most Post to capture the